Welcome back. Let's now listen into an excerpt from an exclusive chat my colleague Ritu Singh had with non-executive chairman of Infosys, Nanda Nilikani, who spoke on a whole host of topics, including India's next big digital transformation. Listen in. Well, I think, you know, while the global economic environment uh, does have signs of uh, slowing down, I think technology and the role of technology in businesses has never been higher. Mm. I think the pandemic showed us that uh, you have to be digitally well equipped. So I do believe that uh, there's still going to be continued, continued interest in uh, IT, uh, both for transformation as well as increasingly for automation and cost reduction. Let me go ahead and ask you, you know, you said that UPI is going to be the WhatsApp moment of India. What next now? You know, we have the ONDC, we have the, uh, you know, uh, AA, we have, uh, you know, a lot, a lot of other digital initiatives that are coming into play, the CBDC and so on. What do you think is going to be our next big moment? Well, I think we are at a very interesting point. In the first part of this transformation, we had digital identity with Aadhaar, we had a DBT for everybody, we had uh, UPI to transform payments and so on. In the next phase, I think there are going to be three big things. The first is uh, democratized credit. Mm -hmm. Everybody will get access to credit. And the account aggregator system, which has been launched, it's gathering steam. Yeah. Recently, GSTN was added to it. Mm -hmm. So once you make credit accessible to all, then millions of small businesses and millions of consumers will get access. Mm -hmm. That will be a big push to economic growth in an equitable manner. The second is ONDC will disaggregate commerce and make it much more inclusive, will allow more suppliers on the platform, more retailers on the platform, more consumers on the platform. So the, you, anybody can buy from anybody and so on. A third thing I think is the logistic revolution which is happening in India, partly with physical infrastructure, partly with GST reforms, yeah. partly with startups. Yeah. So once you improve the ability to sell, yeah. how you sell, whom you sell to, how it's delivered, and give credit to companies to grow, yeah. that's the perfect situation that you want to be in. All right, that's the word coming in from Nandan Nilakini. And with that, it's uh, a wrap on this edition of Power Breakfast with the news that DHX Nifty is indicating a weak start for our own market. Stay tuned. All the market action, Bazaar Morning Call, that comes up next.